No way. Full episode takedown with Chris Hansen. Jeff came to help with weed and condoms. Coming up on this episode of Takedown with Chris Hansen, get the fuck part out. two of Operation Blueberry with Ghost. More so like blue balls. <laughs> Am I right, guys? The soda pop you asked for. It's one of the wildest and heated interviews I've ever done. Yo. It doesn't matter. I, I told her exactly oh, how I was showing. Oh, it matters. I told her I was oh, showing up. I told her I was showing up to give her money so she didn't have to do this for a day. Why do you think it's different than that? Because I hear this story all the time. Okay, sure. And it's... Oh, he's, he's trying a little too hard. That's how you know somebody. That's how you know somebody's trying to get out of the lab, man. Come on now, relax. No, I, I told her. I literally told her already, man. He out there really fighting for his life. Oh my God, I miss Chris Hansen, bruh. I miss Chris Hansen. The Genesee County Human Oppression Strike Team is one of the best in the country at capturing potential child predators. Sheriff Chris Swanson understands the mechanics of these very detailed and complicated operations better than just about anyone else. Predators travel, and you're gonna see people come into our county today, and you're gonna see that- Yeah, we're gonna get to Jedi Survivor, Ooh, which we're so close to beating. But I, bro, I just wanna, can I just see this real quick? Like, can I, can I watch this like really, really quick? It's only like, it's only a little bit. Our victims and our predators travel around the state, around the nation. But tonight's alleged predator... Why is his face blurred out? They just found out later he's a... Oh, let me not put that in there. ...will be anything but delicate. On the previous episode, you saw Big John, who was coming to meet a 15-year-old girl. John. John. We could barely get John out of the house before another man is on the way. If you can't take the heat, you better get out of the kitchen. Oh, my gosh. What's this guy all about? This guy states he's a 50-year-old male, and um, he's looking for a half hour of uh, fun with the decoy. How old is the girl he wants to meet for sex? Um, I told her and indicated in the chat that she was 15 years old. But he was down to meet her. So then he said, uh, what is driving you to make you do this at 15 years old? Um, he said, I might just help you out financially when I get to Flint so you can take your post down for a day or something. And he asked if he should bring protection. And um, I told him to bring a condom. So on the one hand, he's trying to be good Samaritan, worried about a 15-year-old girl available for sex. But on the other hand, he's going to have sex with her. Does that surprise you in this line of work? Yeah. Nothing surprises me in this line of work anymore. This text says, uh, do you smoke weed or are we allowed to smoke in the Why house? Why do people mess no. with kids so badly? Probably because they can't get no in the house. adult they pussy, bro. Killer. So this chat is actually happening. Also, I think it has to do with like the power dynamic or something. Live time as you and I are having this conversation. Yes, it is. He says he's uh They be feeling like they be way. they be feeling okay. like they're like in no, such control that they can manipulate, you know, the situation. From my vantage point, I can hear him pull up to the sting house and shut off his truck. Come on in. Oh, sorry, hold on a minute. The decoy greets our man at the door while I wait to meet with him inside. He just strolls right in with a cigarette. He's chilling. He does this all the time. It's a, it's a hot mess in the house right now. Hey, oh, we're gonna need you to know oh, have, have a seat. Just have a seat right there. Oh my God. Have a seat. Have a seat. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I'll take your hands out here. Just donate her money. You're gonna donate her money. I yeah, read the text. Did you did you read the text? Oh yeah, I read the text. He starts off by asking me questions, but I'll be the one conducting. I'm here to donate the money. What's your name? Jeff. Did you bring condoms? Read. Read. Did it. you bring condoms? I brought her condoms. Jeff. You brought her condoms for what? If you want no, no because I don't want her to have unsafe sex with men. That's why. That Yo, his hands are dirty and everything. That's why. So what was your plan here? I was going to donate her money. That's it. I brought her pops. I feel bad. I, I wanted her to take her post off for a date. That's why I even texted her. I said, listen, I don't feel right about this. I'm going to come there. And I'm just going to donate you money because I want you to take your post down for a date. Did you read the text? I did read the text. Okay, but it sounds and like you were using that as a cover. Right? No, absolutely not. As a cover for you to come I, I was wondering why. I wanted to know why. 
I saw a 15 year old girl be doing something like this. That's you, what I want to know. Are you a religious fellow? Yeah. <laughs> Someone said, now what if he was telling the truth? <laughs> Okay, let's just imagine that's the scenario that he's telling the truth. You would really go, first of all, to that location, to the child's location. When the parents aren't home, because I'm pretty sure he asked if the parents aren't home. On top of that, you're also bringing her condoms so she has safe sex. Mm. And I guarantee once they get to these messages, he's going to be talking about how he want to I can lay it down. Take your panties off. <laughs> Definitely. So you were just a good Samaritan. I'm saying you're not fooling me, buddy. I was being a good Samaritan. Absolutely. Generous Jeff is saying he just wanted to give the 15 year old money to take her post down for the day. How gracious of him. Let's see what other excuses Jeff has for me. And what website, what, what social media platform were you on? And I love how when people be just bullshitting, Chris just lets them talk and just be looking at them like this. <laughs> like they'll go into a whole spiel. Right. <laughs> okay. So explain the condoms. Skip the games. Skip the games. And why were you on Skip the Games? What was your Skip the Games? My intent originally was to find a girl they have sex with. They have sex with. And not a, not a child. Not a child, a woman. Not a child, a woman. But you talk specifically. And tell she said she was 15 years. Tell she said she was 15. But you still talked about sex after that. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Let me remind. I'm sorry, is that a is that a marriage? Like, is that a marriage ring? Like, is that on your ring finger? Are you married, bro? And Jeff of his text exchange with whom he thought was a 15-year-old girl. The text began around 3.30 in the afternoon, with Jeff asking if she is available. Are you available this afternoon at all, at any time? Maybe half an hour? Yeah, baby. How much? Half hour. I'm... What the fuck? I'm white and 50 years old. You're young and hot. Wait, what does you being white got to do with anything? It's not going to take much effort, lol. The decoy then makes it very clear she's 15. I'm 15, so just be cool to me. I don't want any trouble. What? 15 years old? If you're saying you're 15 years old, then I am not comfortable. I read 19. Okay, baby. See ya. In spite of that, Jeff continues the conversation. Can I ask you a very serious question? What is driving you or making you to do this at 15 years old? I might just help you out financially when I get to Flint so you can take your post down for a day or something. Can I actually see you and make a decision? Decoy gives him an ultimatum. If you come in, we're f If not, don't come. Jeff decides he'll come to meet the 15-year-old girl. I'm so curious. Okay, do you have a room? Wait, wait, wait. This an aggressive-ass decoy. Like, goddamn, I ain't never seen the decoys be this aggressive. <laughs> I'm not vouching for him. I'm just saying. This is one horny-ass fucking decoy. Yo, if you come in, we fucking, okay? If you're not, don't come. That's the end of, end of discussion. And they call, is she calling them baby and everything? Usually, usually in these decoy things, they'll be like, well, if you don't want to come, it's okay. I don't, I understand. All right, bye. All right, see ya. Okay, cool. Usually they don't do much talking, but this nigga, <laughs> this decoy trying to get crazy. No, I live with my aunt. She's in Detroit till tomorrow for her company Christmas party. Gotcha. Okay, do you have protection? Mm. What should I bring? Mm. Okay. I'm on my way. What else did you bring in the bag? That's a short conversation. Yeah, you kind of fucked. Her pops. Her pops. Exactly. You brought a Fago. Yeah. Just as she asked. Right. And the condoms? Because she said she was having an unsafe sex with men. That's it. Did you bring weed? Yes. I have weed somewhere. I have weed somewhere. Okay. So <laughs> yes, I have weed. Okay, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I have, I have where we somewhere. Like that doesn't mean I was like it had nothing to do with this. I just have it somewhere. So you were just gonna come over and hang out with a fifteen year old girl, gonna, smoke weed. I was gonna give it to her. I was gonna give it to her. We're just gonna give it. Why is my name on my leg? Wait, what the fuck? It's a sticker with my name on it, and I think. Oh, Danielle did this. She was like writing on, she was like writing on, she was like labeling things, I guess. And she must have put this on my leg. I didn't even know it was here till now. Someone just said slave, clone. For the week. Yes. Were you going to smoke it with her? Possibly. Possibly. I'm keeping it there. I'm going to keep it there. Keep it there. After you smoked weed with this 15 I wanted girl. to talk her out of doing this. That's what I wanted her to do. That was my goal. It sounds like you Some wanted draw. to talk her into having sex. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Not in a million years. Then why would you even come here? Not in a million because I couldn't believe that this 15 year old girl was on that website. That's why. Why didn't you call authorities? Call the police. Things are starting to get heated with Jeff. He's trying his damnedest to convince me he just wanted to give the 15 year old girl a break. You see how this looks. Of course, of course, but you gotta read the text. Read, read the I context. I read the text. Read the contents of it. I do. Okay, so you see exactly what I said? No, it sounds like you were setting up a You're cover wrong. for you to have You're sex wrong. with a 15 year old girl. You're absolutely wrong, okay? You're absolutely wrong. So can you explain to like, yo, is there a room and should I bring protection? I would never sleep with an underage girl, ever. Never. So you were just gonna come over, smoke weed, give her some condoms? I was gonna give her, yeah, I was gonna explain to her that it's not, it's not a safe practice to have unsafe sex with men that you don't know. You know, there's, there's. You, but you do it all the time. I don't. I do it all the time. How do you, you're on the website Skip the Games. So how do you know I'm on there all the time? Which, you dude, told me that. Just I just say all the time. I said I have you in the you past. You gone on there. I have in the past. Right. For sex. I'm, right. I have in the past. Okay. But I'm not on there all the time. It defies common sense. Ah! Uh, just show up here. That jerk in here. Well, that's what the evidence would indicate. There, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. What do you do for a living? I'm retired. You're retired. Yep. Mm. So what do you? Do? I was a builder. You were a builder. Yep. And how do you spend your days? Building L's. <laughs> Cause you got one right now, buddy. <laughs> you're done. I. I mean, I clean up the house. You know, I do laundry. Talk to underage I girls. Dishes. I still have a wife and children. You know. Oh my God, he does have a wife and children. Yeah, you're fucked. How old are your children? They are 14, 17, and 20. Mm. And how would you feel if a fellow came over to hang out and smoke weed with your 14-year-old? Right. Well, how would you feel my 14-year-old does smoke weed. Okay. Okay, but like, what about the other part? But how would you feel if a, a man your age, how old are you? 49. 49. How would you feel if a 49-year-old came would, over would, to your house to hang I'd out with your daughter? I would, I, would, I would escort him off the property. With and weed and con, uh, con. I would escort him off the property and probably um, physically assault him. That's what if he told you, I was just here to help her out, dude. You know, if I if if there was a pre-arranged situation, or if cap if cap, you know, he cap after she said she was fifteen, cap didn't press the issue. You know, you don't. You think that everybody's guilty. I understand. Oh my god. I, get it. I really do. This is, okay? this is cringe. I'm not a bad person. This is cringe. I'm not a pedophile. I'm not a child molester. Uh... Okay? I've never had sex with an underage girl. I've never tried. I've never even... If somebody was to tell me that, I, I want to talk them out of that. that. This is not a lifestyle for a 15-year-old girl. But it seems to me... I know it seems to you. That's your opinion. You keep and saying that. It seems you common saying, sense you keep that, saying that. that if you were worried about somebody you, you came that. across online... You would I'm not them. I'm not that kind of person that calls the authorities. I live in the hood in Saginaw, okay? Police are not our friend. Okay? Well they're not your friend today. Well, <laughs> I, mean, I didn't do anything wrong. Well, oh my god. Yo, his hands are so fucking dirty. I wonder if he's gonna wash them after he was gonna have this hypothetical sex. Oh, you showed up after a sexually charged conversation with a No, it was not sexually charged. I did not reply after she told me she was fifteen. I said nothing sexual. There was no there was no innuendos. I said to her specifically. You talked about sex. You uh, found originally, her before she said, showed up. It doesn't matter. I, I told her oh, exactly what I was showing. Oh, it matters. I told her what I was oh, showing up. I told her I was showing up to give her money so she didn't have to do this for a day. Mm. I said, what's the situation? Why are you doing this? Who's forcing you to do this? You said it's not going to... You, you said how much for 30 minutes is not going to take take much. That's, that's what you said. 
Did you not read the text? Yes. But okay, so why do you think it? Why do you think it? Why do you think it's different than that? Because I hear this story all the time. Okay, sure. And it's. Bull it's not bull. It is. No, it isn't. Absolutely not. It is not bull. All right, so you're wrong. What should, I, I, what I don't. What should happen to you? I don't. What should happen to me? Yeah. What do you mean? What should happen to me? You I should. didn't do anything wrong. I wanted to know what the hell a 15 year old was doing on that website. I was going to ask her, does your mom post on here or something? Jeff is now playing oh the God, concerned parent. Come on, bro. You got to do better than that. With me. You got to understand something, okay? Sure. I'm 49 years old, and I've been married, divorced, married, divorced. There's times that I want to be satisfied by a woman, okay? And I have used that website, all right? It's not a website for a 15-year-old girl. But it's yet not... today, a 15-year-old was on there. And you I know, it's crazy. Here. I did come to donate her money so she could get off the site for a day or two or okay. find out what the situation was. That's the whole reason I came here, There's... to find out what the situation was. Jeff what? sticks to his guns. And to my... What? I'm Dante. I'm curious. What would you do in this situation? <laughs> I wouldn't be in this situation. What do you mean? A surprise, <laughs> my next reveal will not be a surprise to Jeff. What? Is there something you need the to fuck? Do? Okay, I'm Chris Hansen. I know who you are. You know who I am? Well, of course. I watch TV. I'm 49 years old. Come on. All right. So, is there anything else you want people to know? I hope that you do catch some... Bad men. Julius. Just not you. You didn't catch me. Well, the guys here are going to want to hear your story, okay? Okay. Jeff is so adamant about his intentions tonight that he gives me his consent to be on my show. Something we don't need. No matter what this goes on TV, I have to sign something or no? No. Okay. I will if you want me to. I appreciate that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm asleep. Now that Jeff has told me his story, it's time for him to explain his actions to the sheriff's deputies. But not before an inventory of what he brought with him to meet a 15-year-old girl. Uh-oh. So there's weed, rolling papers, the soft, the soda pop you asked for. Oh, my God. I mean, without counting, you had around $100, some cigarettes and a cell phone. He was about to go crazy. That's more weed than two people would smoke in an evening, right? Absolutely. I mean, that's a lot of, there are a lot of buds in there. He's about to call the homies yeah. up. About a hundred bucks, his cigarettes, which he continued to smoke during our interview. You don't think there's any chance at all that he was going to just try to get this girl help? No, I think he was just chill. Honestly, I say we let him go. Keep her from having sex with you. Damn. Generous Jeff What's your wife and your kids going to say? Felonies, costing a child for immoral purposes, child sexually abusive activity, and using a computer to commit a crime. See, this is the part as fucked up as it is, like on for like YouTube channels. Like a YouTube person who busted them would be like, call your parent. Call, uh, call, call your, uh, not your parents, call your wife right now. Call your wife right now and tell her what you've done. That's the shit I like. Like when they make them tell them. Or when they be like, yo, okay, we're going to go to your house and you're going to tell your wife or we call the cops. How about that? Be like, oh, shit. That's what, they literally be shaking. They'll be like, Ugh, I can't, I, I can't call my wife. Look, I, I just, this is like, I'll call my aunt. I, I'll call my, like, my friend. How about that? No. The ghost team is just as call your wife. smacked as I am about Jeff's claims of coming over just to help out a 15-year-old girl. The second guy who came in was adamant that he was just. Sorry, we forgot to blur your face. What's the rest of this? The rest of them just talking about, like, who wants to hear what you got to say, man? Yeah, man, these guys got to be stopped. Yeah, oh, we know. That's why we're watching the show. So y'all can stop them. Damn, Chris Hansen is back. Hell yeah.